welcome back. As promised, we're down in Cornwall. Lovely sunny weather, but we're going to start by putting up the lava. Now, I'll show it in Speed It Up um, video because you've seen me put it up before. Well, as you can see, all set up, got camp beds in, paraphernalia, camp bed, and then we've got the fire pit and the open roof. Now you've got my pillow, you've got my coat, you should be happy. Woof. There you go, you're going to sleep. <laughs> Dick and dog. I was going to say, mind your feet, she don't like feet. She'll never go if she has the enlightened equipment quilt. <laughs> Suddenly there's going to be a bounding Dora over there. And Daphne's going to be <gasps> so hot. Dora's happy by the fire, but Daphne would never sit by the fire. Is that what you wanted? Is it? Could so I can you pillow? cover me over, please? Yep, yeah, do you want the pillow? <laughs> there you go, it's a thermorest pillow, an enlightened equipment quilt. <laughs> she was sleeping this morning next to me, <laughs> with her head on the pillow. Uh, she's non
Thank you. Am I going all at the mock? Cheers. Quick. <laughs> Cheers. <laughs> Cheers, everyone. Uh -huh. Welcome, Welcome to, to Cornwall. <laughs> Sarah's having chili and rice, so we need chili and rice. We need approximately some water. It's much quicker than that barrow cook that uh, I used in one of the previous videos. So, when you're using these, these ration pack things, um, everyone seems to get a bit kind of master chef y when they're talking about them. And they're, they're talking about plating up. It, it really isn't. It's occasionally done at school, which was called debagging. So, we're going to debag these meals. <laughs> and put them in these bowls so you can see what they look like and hopefully there isn't too much sand in there because there's an awful lot of sand blowing around at the moment. So I've got the um, stew and dumplings. We'll debag Sarah's tea. Sarah's got the, uh, this, this one is also, it's one of these Wayfarer ones. So this is different to my one. Um, let's bring that over here. Mm. Baby food. It's, it's very hot, I tell you. The initial <laughs> thoughts are that these make food much hotter than those barrow cook things but I will get I will get the hang of those things and absolutely adamant I will there we go so the rubbish goes in the bags and the food goes in our faces something Sarah just thought of was that when you finished with the pad thing when it's cooled down a bit you, you know you're going to throw it away, so why not wipe your bowl with it? Nothing like a bit of hot washing up. Ooh, I like it. And then we've got a bag to put it in, and it goes in the bin. Lovely. Sarah's going to have this sticky. Sticky Toffee Pudding by Wayfarer. It's more like a sticky finger pudding. Okay, so <clears throat> we'll wipe a bit of sticky toffee <laughs> over the place and degustation may commence.
sunset in Cornwall. This is something that I haven't shown you before. It's the Zelta Shelter. Uh, that's what Sarah's going to be sleeping in tonight. It's a, um, a bivy shelter um, that's uh, got air poles. So I haven't used it before. So looking forward to seeing what this looks like. And the interesting thing about this shelter is it can turn into a, a poncho as well. So, so you, you inflate it with this tube here and it's supposed to inflate all of the poles. So I'm going to get a bit out of puff, but uh, I'll have a go. It's probably because it's facing uphill. So I'll take you around here. Then it inflates into a a bivy shelter and that thing that you can see on the side is uh, the bit where your head sticks through. Now to go with this I chose the the DD inflatable mat because it's it's shaped a bit in the same shape as the um, the Zelta shelter so what I'm going to do I don't really want to get it all over the sand well, I don't want to say it but it's it's kind of coffin shaped and so it should fit inside the Zelta shelter, I'm hoping. So that is the DD mat inside the Zelta shelter and I can tell you it is an absolutely perfect fit. Absolutely brilliant. So that's where Sarah's tonight. I'm Al Fresco in a bivvy bag. So this is the setup for tonight. I'm in a bivvy bag and Sarah's in the Zelta shelter. So I think she might have a better night than me. Well, good morning everyone. We survived the night. Um, it's not the best night's sleep I've ever had, but uh, it, it wasn't bad. It was nice and warm. Um, there was a lot of dew came down, so everything got really wet. Um, and the Zelta shelter doesn't seem to have an awful lot of room in it. Um, so Sarah was quite cramped in there. Um, the bivvy bag, we set it all up just before uh, bedtime. And then I went to get into it. And unfortunately, the um, Klimit mat the sleeping bag and me don't fit in it so I had to hurriedly take the mat out but I am very pleased to report that I've got on well with the Clement mat this time it stayed put and uh, it also seems to be quite well insulated because I was quite warm underneath um, which is a, a good thing um, but uh, yes there have been a couple of dog walkers come past so we thought we'd better get up have a coffee and break camp um, so we'll, we'll take the camp down in a minute, but uh, I'll just see if I can show you where we were. So this was the camp, that was my bivvy bag, and the Zelta shelter seems to have suffered a little because it's, uh, I think the, the rucksack that's in it is pushing down on the side, which is pulling the main beam over. But uh, just over the top there, I don't think you'll be able to see because of the light, um, is the sea. So this was Sarah's dilemma. Um, as you can see the stuff is packed rather well in there. I did try and blow it up as hard as I could but I guess the, sorry, the cold in the climatic air has, has made the air contract inside the tubes. So it's uh, they've gone down a bit. But uh, yes, right now I'll try and show you the the weather. Oh, there's Sarah. Hello. Good morning, Sarah. Oh, hello. <laughs> so that's the view out of our bedroom window. I think you'll agree, it's rather pleasant. So, after a hard night crafting, there's nothing like a slap-up breakfast. 
and we've come to um, a cafe called Smoky Joe's which is quite well renowned in Cornwall apparently um, and uh, we're having the Hungryman breakfast which is the big one so uh, I'll show it to you when it comes along and uh, and you can uh, dribble over it. Well, this is the large breakfast. I decided to go slightly smaller than the Hungry Man. Um, and you can see why. I might struggle with this one. But uh, I'll persevere. Well, we had breakfast and we got back to base camp and had a bit of a kip. And uh, this is the aftermath. This is the bit that you don't see on most of these videos. So last night was absolutely soaking. It was the, the moisture in the air was unbelievable. And so absolutely everything got wet. Um, and so it's currently, this is the Mercedes drying rack. Um, but it was, it was a great time down on the beach. Um, don't get me wrong, we really enjoyed it. Um, I think we do have a few lessons that we need to learn about um, what we actually take and also finding things which are um, a bit lighter um, because some of that kit was quite heavy that Zelta shelter I was a bit disappointed with that um, I will try it again um, but uh, yeah it's it didn't really stack up to what I'd hoped for Good morning everyone. <clears throat> um, unusual slot for one of my videos. There's a very nice lady who contacted me and asked me if I would be interested in showing you this new cooker of theirs. Um, it's called an Adalov and it's a 1.4 litre uh, multifunctional cooking system. Now it's it's got, um, if I show you, You have the pot and then you have the burner inside the pot with the gas bottle. Um, now the pot is a bit different to most pots insofar as it's one of these ones with the fins on it. So what they do is they increase the surface area that the burner has to heat up and so therefore it heats it up quicker. So you need less gas for more heat. Um, it's quite light, it's a, a hardened anodized aluminium pot that holds 1.4 litres. Um, <clears throat> now I've been using this all week and I'm, I'm, I like it. It's, um, it's, it's a good little piece of kit. Um, I mean the, the adage that uh, there isn't any one size fits all for um, cookers is the same as most other pieces of kit that you can buy. So we've been using it all week, we've been boiling water, um, <clears throat> heated up some soup and we use it down on the beach um, and it's performed really well which is why I'm happy to talk to you about it. The pot actually locks onto it so it has little spigots and then it, it doesn't fall off which is a really handy feature. Um, one thing I would say about this one <clears throat> is that uh, they, on the box they show it with legs and this didn't come with legs and 
it, it is a bit unstable when you've got 1.4 litres of water in it because the gas bottle is only a small, it's about 10 or 12 centimetres across diameter. Um, so you need to have a nice stable ground for it. But I think with the feet, it would be, uh, be quite stable enough. As regards this, um, you can use pretty much any of these screw-on gas cylinders. It's very simple to use. There is a piezo ignition, which uh, automatically ignites it. So you just turn on the gas and off it goes. Powerful little burner. And uh, yeah, I think it's, it's, it's a nice piece of kit. Um, they say that it's uh, a backpacking one. Well, it's probably a bit big for a single backpacker, but if you were going out with a group or going out for the day maybe, then it's, it's, it's a brilliant piece of kit because there's obviously kit sharing goes on. As regards the weight, I think with the gas cylinder it probably weighs, it can't weigh more than a pound, pound and a half, something like that. Um, so it's not hideously heavy, but it is quite bulky. And 1.4 litres is enough to fill a hot water bottle, which is perfect. The downsides to it, because it's a pot, if you cook something, and, and the burner goes inside the pot, if you cook something in there, then you need to make sure that you've got some way of cleaning it out, because otherwise you're going to get whatever it was that you put in there all over your burner. Now, I suspect that if you're going backpacking for any more than a day, uh, sorry, any more than one night, then you're probably going to be using dehydrated food or things that need rehydrating. Um, in which case, you'd probably be using this for water, which is perfect. The top to it, the, the plastic top, has a pouring spout and it also has a straining spout. So if you happen to be cooking, I don't know, vegetables or potatoes or something like that, um, then it makes life much easier to uh, get rid of the water and also more accurate to pour it through the pouring spout. And that just clips on. It clips on quite firmly, um, so you don't need to worry about it falling off. It's got this neoprene cover all the way around it. And even when you've boiled the water, you can still pick it up like that, um, which is, is quite a bonus because a lot of them, you know, they, get, they, they do tend to get quite hot. The stove is called an Adelov stove and it's available on Amazon. Um, they're $59.99 and they are available the next day, so it's on, on Amazon Prime. So if you like it, it's a good piece of kit. Well, it's that time again. Um, we've had a fantastic time down in Cornwall. The weather hasn't been very forgiving, um, I'll give it that. So there hasn't been, we haven't been able to do much cooking in the tent because I didn't bring the wood burner. I bought the, uh, the fire pet. And if you have the roof open for the fire, then unfortunately you get wet. So we weren't able to do that most nights. Um, we did have some friends around one night uh, with their dogs. And there should be some interesting uh, video footage of that. Um, also, we've been out, because it's been uh, not so clever weather most of the time, we've been out to a couple of shows. We went to the flower show down here and we also went to the Lost Gardens of Heligon. So there'll be some photos of that in the video. I hope you enjoy this video and uh, I hope for, look forward to seeing you on the next one. Bye bye.